Two representatives announced a plan, in fact, today to address what they say is a growing problem of reckless driving, both in Marion County and across the state. CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli was at the State House today for that announcement. She breaks down their call to action on a problem that's costing lives tonight. Democratic state reps Blake Johnson and Mitch Gore are calling for change in the Hoosier state. Uh, reckless driving in all its forms, speeding, dangerous maneuvers, disregarding school zones, is at an all-time high across our city and state. Despite stay-at-home orders and more work from home, they say there was a more than 30% increase in traffic deaths last year in Marion County and more than 8% statewide. We um, have had an abundance of an amount of um, serious bodily injury crashes and fatality crashes. IMPD says some of the more common things their department sees are distracted and aggressive driving. We're tired of day after day seeing tragic headlines that lives are lost. So the state legislators are calling on Governor Holcomb to allocate a portion of the remaining $350 million in coronavirus relief funds to improve traffic safety and curb reckless driving, like paying for overtime of officers to work traffic details for more enforcement. It seems like everybody has a story lately uh, about some traumatic experience they've had on the road. We had this green light, we entered the intersection uh, and uh, from the, just the corner of our eyes, we saw this vehicle just blasting through the red light. On Wednesday night, Jordan Updike says he was in the car with his wife and dogs when they were hit by another driver. He says they don't feel great, but they're thankful to be alive and glad no pedestrians in the area were hurt. Had we been 10 or 15 feet uh, in one direction, that would have taken them out. The letter to Holcomb comes on the heels of several recent pedestrian accidents in Marion County. I had a seven-year-old die in my district just this last week. Uh, reckless driver ran a red light and, and it took a seven-year-old's life. Johnson and Gore say tapping into the use it or lose it COVID relief funds is just one yet immediate way to ramp up solutions to a problem they say is plaguing the Hoosier state. Remember that you getting to work a little bit faster is not worth taking someone else's life. Reporting in Indianapolis, Courtney Spinelli, CBS 4 News.